Hi, I'm Dustin Mason from Performance Lexus in St. Catharines. And today we're gonna do a video on something that I've been wanting to do for a while but couldn't. And that is the new price and package guide for the 2024 GX 550. But before I get into that, make sure you hit like and subscribe for more Lexus related content. Okay, so jumping right into things, the reason I couldn't do this video before is there wasn't enough public information about things like packaging and pricing. And I think there's enough information there that I wanted to go over it before the GX actually arrives at dealership. So taking a look here at the build and price, the first thing I wanna show you is the difference between the 2023 and the 2024. And for once they're right side by side, so you can just click on them and here you go. That has got to be the biggest difference in a model change, visually, from what I can see so far, that we've had in the Lexus lineup in a long time. Let me know if you think so, but I, I think so. So in Canada, we have the GX550 starting at 86,785. I will tell you, in the States, it looks like the premium package is starting at like 64,000, which kind of makes sense. The dollar is a little bit different over there. So the new GX obviously comes standard with the Lexus Safety Sense 3.0, a 21 millimeter TFT display, cold area spec in Canada. So heated and ventilated front seats and heated steering wheel, 20 inch alloys, parking support, power back door, power moonroof, just the regular size one with power sunshades. Backup camera, camera and headlight washers, synthetic leather, wireless charger, and digital key. This is essentially the entry level in Canada and it comes in four colors by the looks of it. So we have eminent white pearl, we have caviar, we have atomic silver. Interesting that they went with atomic silver because a lot of the new lineup has been the new Iridium Silver. But Atomic Silver has been one of the favorites in the past. It's kind of got that champagne tint to it, I guess you could say. And Nebula Gray, which is also an older color. This color has mostly been re replaced by Cloudburst. But on the GX, I actually do really like the way Nebula Gray looks. I will say, even though I'm using a screen that is like an art display, it's still, the color looks way different in person for Nebula Gray and Atomic Silver. So keep that in mind when you're ordering one of these things. As for interior, you can just get black on that package. So let's go back and we're gonna look at some different packages. Let's go up to the premium package. So premium package in Canada is another $900. And for the most part, it gives you things like power steering column, power folding third row, power heated seats, memory seats, kick sensor, parking brake support, panel view monitor. Wow, so even the premium package has Bird's eye view, that's what panel view monitor is. We have acoustic front side glass. So if you don't know what that is, essentially the glass has almost like a like a, an extra layer in it or like a chamber between the exterior of the glass and the interior of the glass so that when it's rolled up, you don't get an, a, as much of that acoustic noise coming in. So it's a quieter interior cabin is the point of that. We have ambient front lighting, multicolor, so you can customize that a little bit. Uh, we have quartering lamps and fog lamps sort of kind of in the same area at the bottom of that bumper. Machined wheels, uh, heads up display and drive connect. So that one looks slightly different, but it's not. It's mainly, I mean, it's mainly just the wheels in my opinion. Let's see if there's more colors. There's one more color. We can get Nightfall Mica. So Nightfall Mica is a very dark blue that has an interesting characteristic where at nighttime, it almost looks black. The blue really only comes out when you see it in direct sunlight or any type of light, really. Uh, and it looks like we also have a saddle tan interior, which goes very well with that Nightfall Mica, might I say. It is a two-tone interior, so you can see here, it's not the whole seat. The sides are kind of like that dark gray blackish. Same with the uh, things like the center of the rear seats, the dashboard, the carpet, stuff like that. Uh, other than that, it's just the other gray, silver, black, uh, white, etc. And it looks like you can get saddle, saddle tan in all of them, which is kind of nice. So you don't really have to choose um, a special package to get the saddle tan. Now we're into the overtrail which is one of my favorite parts of the lineup of the new GX. I think it looks super rugged. I really like the off-road look to it. And I think this is how I would order it. The Overtrail opens up a ton of different colors, but let's get into the what that package gives you first. The Overtrail sort of lies 
in between the base model and the premium in terms of a lot of features, but you get all-terrain tires, you get a rear diff lock, you get EKDSS, so set of the kinetic suspension system, AVS off-road tune, so five different driving modes, vehicle stability control, multi tain rack, downhill assist control, all on a knob, uh, you do get the cornering and fog lamps, just like the other. Aluminum roof rails, multi-terrain monitor and panel view monitor. So usually a multi-terrain monitor in the previous generations, you can see a little bit of what's happening underneath the car. Skid plates, you do lose the third row and the HVAC for the, for the rear. And it goes down to an 18 inch wheel, which is understandable. There's a ton more colors now. So we have the white, the black, the atomic silver, nori green pearl, which if you haven't seen, to me it looks like a, a British racing green. It's very dark, there's lots of metallic. It's gorgeous. Uh, probably the bigger SUVs it looks the best on. It also does look good on things like the UX, but I found the GX, just it just hits. We have Incognito, which is a new color. Uh, we saw this in the RX 500 and the TX. It's almost like, it's almost like a flat gray, cement gray with a clear coat though. Then we have the two tones. So we have Nord Green with a black roof. We have Incognito with a black roof. We have Atomic with a black roof. The Atomic looks really good too. And we have Earth with a black roof, which is really interesting. This is the first time I'm seeing Earth. That's cool. That's kind of army like. I like it. Interior, we have Chateau. So let's go to the luxury. So the luxury, again, now we're like $18,000 above what the base came in at. So the luxury on top of the premium package gives us 22 inch wheels, which is really good. It gives us semi aniline leather. So a very high end leather with a new Lux third row. Interesting that they actually specify that. So new Lux is a synthetic leather. Front massage seats, that's huge because until now you could really only get massage seats in things like the LX or the LS. So the flagship cars. Big deal that we're getting at the GX. Rear manual sunshades. Uh, 10 way power driver and passenger and headrest adjustments and cushion length adjustments. That's nice. Mark Levinson, always love that. 21 speakers, traffic jam assist, front tra traffic, drive monitor, lane change assist. So some really good program there for if you're starting traffic. Nice, big, luxurious, flashy wheels. I think that looks super gangster. That's cool. So let's look at some colors. So we got white. It's the eminent pearl white, so it looks flat white or gloss white in this, but there's a lot of pearl to it. Caviar, same thing with the black, there's a lot of pearl to it. It's not just uh, a regular black. Atomic, Nebula, those big wheels look really sick. The Nightfall, Nori Green. I think the Nori Green looks better on the off-road one personally, but you'll be the judge of that and incognito. The interior, we get some other stuff going on. So we get dapple gray, which is a gray leather. We get black and we also get saddle tan. And most of those are offered on all the colors, it looks like. More packages, Overtrail Plus. This is the actual package that I would get because I would like some luxuries as well as the off-road gear. I think that is a perfect blend of both. Let's see, there we go, Overtrail Plus. So. It gives you all the things from the other overtrail, plus power steering column, memory seats, rear heated seats, um, front massage seats. So now we can get some luxurious features into that off-road machine, which is why I would do it. Parking brake support, ambient lighting, acoustic front glass, kick sensor, rear manual sunshades, traffic jam set, heads up, Mark Levinson, cooling box, and digital key. So that in Canada would run you around $101,850. But look how cool it is. So colors wise, we have the same as before with the two tones. So Nori Green, Incognito, then the two tones. And I think, if I remember, I don't know if this is on all the trails. If we look, from what I can tell, there's almost a green-ish inlay. I don't know. I thought I read that when you get a black interior with the overtrail, the Elkintar almost looks green. I don't know if that's just these photos. I have to read up on that because it does look green. And I thought I read that as well. And of course, last but not least, the executive. So this is the most expensive package on the GX. 
it's a boss status. What does it give you? Well, it gives you only like five extra features from the luxury. It gives you AVS, so different drive modes for the suspension. We get automatic running boards, that is pretty cool. We haven't had that in Lexus either, that would be a first. Digital rearview mirror, cooling box, a fixed dimming panel roof. So pretty cool technology where you can press a button and it dims the roof, that is very luxurious. And captain seats, so that second row, which in the States they used to do that for the GX, but never in Canada, that second row is captain chairs, as you can see here. So that's pretty cool. Depending if you need the extra row or not. If uh, Either way, even if you're just gonna use the second row, not the third row, I think that's still pretty gangster. If you're gonna be dr getting driven around in this, then yes, for sure. Does it open up any more colors? No, it's the same as the previous packages. Um, actually, exact same. So the colors are pretty much the same. When you're in those higher packages, so the Overtrail Plus, the Executive, the Luxury, the Overtrail, it has pretty similar colors depending on which style you're going with. Uh, just to review really quick some of the specs of the GX if you haven't done your reading yet on it and why it is so epic. Okay, so with this new GX, you have things like an all new powertrain as well as that exterior style that you already saw. So things like 479 torque, we have 349 horsepower of this new twin turbo 3.4 liter V6 engine. This engine was time for an introduction because the V8 in the GX was around for a million years and engines are getting smaller. I'm a V8 guy, but I also love twin turbo V6s. So I think this won't disappoint me at all in the slightest. And it's probably one of the most exciting model changes we've seen in the lineup. So this should be here soon. It's arriving in Canada in showrooms in the next little bit. Uh, to give you an idea, the fully loaded US version of the vehicle goes for around 81 and the Overtrail Plus is 77. In Canada, we're just over the 100 mark. So that gives you an idea of the differences in price as well, uh, package structure, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm Dustin Mason from Performance Lexus in St. Catharines. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you liked it in the comments below and if you're planning on getting a GX, which one you're gonna go with. Thanks for watching, bye.